Good afternoon and welcome. I'm Karen Marsdale, President and CEO, Greater Reading Chamber of Commerce and Industry, and welcome to another edition of Member Spotlight. And this is a time when we get to talk to members up close and personal about their organizations and what they do. And it's a great time to really just let you, our audience, know what's going on in their world. And it gets us a little bit more involved um, in knowing what's happening um, on their front as well. So today I'm very thrilled to have Paul Kappel, who has joined us from the Philadelphia market, if you will. Yes, yeah, Junior Achievement in Southeastern Pennsylvania. Junior Achievement, Southeastern Pennsylvania. and it's. Paul, thank you so much for being with us. Oh, my pleasure. Really my appreciate pleasure. it. Um, of course, Junior Achievement for many of us mm -hmm. is a household name. Um, it's it's an organization that has done just you know great things um, for young people um, from elementary school mm -hmm. all the way through. Um, and so many of our viewers who are maybe watching or listening um, can remember being a part of Junior Achievement. And um, so thank you for for being with us today. So a little bit, um, you know, you're now Southeastern PA, mm -hmm. which is very normal in, in the world of, of, of some nonprofits um, because it can, give, it can give you the opportunity to, to really more have more of an impact in areas um, such as Berks County and other counties in, um, um, in, in Pennsylvania um, with the good work that you do. So a little bit about um, what's new with JA in Berks. No, absolutely. So if, if you're, for those that aren't familiar with Junior Achievement, we are an economic education organization. Uh, as you Good, indicated. thank you. Oh. I, I, think, I think because I'm so close to it, <laughs> sure. you know, maybe it's a little bit, you know, um, to the optics or, you know. No, so I, great. Let's talk about really what you do do. No, absolutely. So we've actually been around since 1919, uh, almost 100 years. And the majority of that was working with community leaders to teach young people about entrepreneurship, uh, which really has been a basis of, of everything we've done. Uh, over the years, you've seen us expand our programs also to financial literacy and work readiness and a transition from not just an out-of-school program to an in-school program as well. Correct. So uh, this year, we'll actually have about 35,000 students participate in a JA program within southeastern Pennsylvania. That's tremendous. And we'll probably approach uh, 2,500 students will be actually from Berks County participating in JA programs, all delivered by local community uh, volunteers, whether that be parents, college students, or business leaders that are taking time out of their day to work with uh, these great programs with young people who need them. And I will tell you, as a former volunteer for Junior Achievement, mm -hmm. And being in that classroom in fifth grade with fifth graders, there is just no greater um, satisfaction than you can get when you see kids sort of understanding. Mm -hmm. You know, the light bulb goes off, um, and I know that there are a number of programs, but um, um, and I'm and I'm you know I'm sort of losing now the the name of the program that that I did with um, with my former CEO of the chamber, but. Um, you know, it was just always, it was cool to see kids kind of understand about business. Mm -hmm. um, at the end of the um, session, and I think there might have been six, mm -hmm. maybe eight, I'm not sure. We'd go in weekly, we had a great teacher. Um, they were excited, you know, and they got to get together, start a little business. And I always chuckled because, you know, the boys always wanted to do something around, you know, either um, doing video games and creating video games or, um, opening up a sneaker shop or doing something. You know, it was, a, it, was, it was interesting that there weren't too many folks that wanted to be accountants or, you know, <laughs> you know I, think, I think we're gonna start a law firm here. Sure. So, you know, but that's, that's obviously, um, you know, comes with the territory. But I think it's just so important because, you know, you talked about entrepreneurship 100 years ago, and now, you know, kind of full circle, you know, this is all that we're hearing is entrepreneurs and, you know, the, the, the ability to give, um, people opportunities mm -hmm. to make things happen and you know you've been doing it for a very long time so when it's interesting because we, within J we basically look at entrepreneurship from two perspectives clearly uh, um, entrepreneurship is, is an end in terms of someone who wants to start their own business. And, and I think that's a key piece. It's not always about inventing a product. Sure. You know, we all know the, the, the richness of, of family businesses in, in Berks County. Those are entrepreneurs. Yeah, um, absolutely. You know, someone who opens up their own storefront, that's, that's an entrepreneur. And so letting young people understand that that is, a, a, you know, what basically small business is what runs America. Exactly. Seeing that it's as the a engine of the, of the economy. It really is. Absolutely. But in addition, uh, that's not the path that everyone will choose. 
But that entrepreneurial way of thinking, think about what entrepreneurs do. It's, you know, they, they collaborate well, they're innovative, they, they bring value to a community. Um, what employer does not want a young person who has that mindset going into a job? And so that's one of the things that Junior Achievement can do from a work readiness perspective is really give students a leg up. Leg up. So whether they're going right into the workforce from high school or going out with that, that four-year degree and working for you know, a Wells Fargo or a Brentwood Industries, having that ability to be a better worker is something that a lot of our partners look for. Sure, and I think that, that you've, you've really hit the nail on the head because you know, one of the things that we find most employers will say as a pinch point is you know I can't get and I hate to use the word good employees but I can't but what they're really talking about is exactly what you're saying they want people who can solve problems can think independently can be a part of a team can do all those things and then they can teach them the rest yes you know and that's really what you know you're about mm -hmm. because that is that that's an ideal employee mm -hmm. um, and and, and so you're really preparing that next generation for those things which employers really are looking for. So, so how are you finding um, Berks County, you know, was, was I think a very big junior achievement mm -hmm. um, um, stronghold. They, um, you know, just great people that were involved, um, CEOs of companies would be in a classroom and I think they loved doing that because it was like, you know, they were on an equal, you know, they were no longer the boss. They yep. were just there. <laughs> and I can remember my CEO and I going in and, you know, a, a, a hand was raised and some little person said, well, can you tell me how old you are? It's like, well, I don't know if that came with the territory. But um, so what about new programs? So new programs. So for us, a, a couple of things. Um, uh, if you look at one of the things we wanted to make sure that we did as we as we expanded our per footprint is take time and understand what the needs are from the community's perspective. Uh, two things that we currently do, and then maybe one thing on the horizon. Uh, currently, we have a program called Jane in a Day uh, that's similar to what you described, but mm -hmm. instead of the volunteer going in once a week for five, six, seven weeks, we actually work with cohorts of volunteers that go in and teach the J curriculum in a one day kind of workshop conference style format. Mm -hmm. It's a great opportunity particularly for employers that are looking for ways to get their associates engaged in the community. Mm -hmm. uh, more and more having days of service type. Sure. JA has been able to be a resource provider but at the same time schools that need these programs maybe now have them that maybe didn't have a, 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 the ability for us sure. to recruit enough volunteers Absolutely. for. Absolutely. So schools such as, as Millmont, Riverside, Perry, we actually have those schools asking for those programs in the community and then we're That's just looking great. for business partners to fulfill them. The entrepreneurship program that you're probably familiar with, actually we've started to have high schools contact us now saying, hey, we're ready when you are. So we are actively looking for businesses to host that after school program um, in the Berks area. It is something that's been a, a strength of our program as we've expanded outward in southeastern Pennsylvania. We actually had high school students from Delaware County uh, participate in the national uh, JA competition and take first prize uh, oh, this wow. past year. Oh wow, congratulations. Well, thank you. So, so we know it's a model that can work and uh, we want to just make sure that when we do so we build it in a sustainable way. I, I think a key piece is, is that it would be very easy for us to get ahead of our headlights. Mm -hmm. um, but change we want to make sure that we're doing in such a way that structurally it's sound. Um, I think that it's important to align all of our program growth with funding growth and volunteer growth as well or mm -hmm. opportunities. Uh, so if anything we've probably been uh, a little conservative in those opportunities but to make sure that when we do it we do it right. Well and you know almost a hundred years of, of um doing it and doing it over and over again does say, does say something about yes. the the uh, sustain the sustainability and and also i think that you have been great about making changes when you needed to based on things that are so different you know schools are very different now um it's it's a challenge to get in there's so much that a teacher has to do um in a given day mm -hmm. but um you know junior achievement truly is a, a gem for the schools that are involved in it. And I'm thrilled that you're here with us, that you remember that we can do whatever we can to help you because again, workforce, you know, this next generation coming up that will be the employees of tomorrow or the employers and the great entrepreneurs, as you said, you know, small business is the engine that runs the economy. Um, we need people to be thinking and creative, innovative um, and able to, you know, bring that next deliverable to, um, and who knows, you know, that the Bill Gates of the world might, might be right here in Eastern Pennsylvania. So thank you so much for being here and um, best of luck. Um, looking forward to hearing lots of good things about JA. Okay.
Thank you. Thank you very much. And it's look my forward pleasure. To